Hi guys, welcome to this video about what you can do when Windows 10 goes to sleep much earlier than what you want. So usually there are different options. You have the one here. You can right click on your screen, then personalize and there's something like, uh, oh that's a little bit small. <laughs> Try to make it bigger. It's the lock screen or at least it was in old window versions there was something in the lock screen I haven't found anything or um, yeah here we have something screen timeout so yeah actually that's the same setting which you have when I go down uh, that's a, that's a surprise. I didn't know, but it, it really looks it's a, absolutely the same settings as you have when you right click on here on the battery sign, right click then power options, and then you go to choose what to uh, when to turn off the display, or you can choose change when computer sleeps it's the same thing so actually there are three ways to get to this uh, information uh, the strange thing is with two options you get to, to this uh, display with one option you get to this display I didn't know that's really really interesting so sometimes you find out something when you're live so you see uh, the battery, um, I'm, at the moment it's it's not important, the battery settings, battery it means 30 minutes and one hour, and the plugged in is two hours for the turn of the display here and three hours to put computer to sleep. Here we have the same, it's a little bit a different uh, different arranged so I think uh, I like this a little bit more so that's from the right click from the battery setting so anyway uh, these are the most important things and as you can see um, it's two hours or three hours uh, I mean two hours for turning off the display three hours for putting the computer to sleep and in my case when I do nothing, it goes to sleep about after two minutes. What you have, you have additional ad or advanced power settings here. When you click on that, you come to an additional menu, and there's a sleep thing here, and it says sleep after uh, thing. You see, uh, yeah, it's actually absolutely same thing. It displays the same time, three hours, then uh, allow hybrid sleep. I have almost everything off. I have to hibernate off and yeah, so on. So there is nothing. The thing is a lot of people have this problem and there is nothing to change. This is really absolutely annoying so I have done a lot of research and I found something that usually with most of the people this happens only after uh, you put it into sleep and wake it up when you restart the computer like uh, you do a full shutdown and restart it doesn't uh, happen it only happens when you go to the windows icon and then or, or type uh, like uh, wind oh, no that's wrong sorry sorry for that uh, you have to go to the windows uh, power and then sleep so it only happens then when you put it to sleep and then wake it up and then usually with a lot of people I think there are millions of people having this problem it goes the computer goes to sleep after two or three minutes when doing nothing and there is nothing to change and now I have done a lot of research and I found the following thing there was obviously 
a different menu a couple of years ago maybe windows 7 or or, or before even even windows 7 seemed to be having this issue or did have this issue for some reason microsoft decided to remove um a setting here in sleep which says what to do after the computer wakes up from a system event so like not when you wake it up in person but let's say there's a system event it wakes up from ethernet it wakes up by timer it wakes up i don't know for uh, with something else and there is it seems to be a two minute um two minute uh, like uh, yeah two minutes and go to sleep again so there are actually two issues first thing i think uh, they are wrong because um yeah you wake it up manually it's not a system wake up so maybe i'm wrong but 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 for me it looks looks they are wrong and second thing and which or which is the even bigger problem uh, Microsoft removed that they have uh, a wrong setting and a difficult I mean a really heavy setting and they rem they removed the option to adapt that that's that's really that's crazy that, I, I I don't know I mean how can you do that that looks like somebody really uh, wants to destroy the uh the whole system and uh, make customers mad and force them to go to apple or linux or i don't know so yeah anyway now we are trying to solve this i haven't solved this even till now i've only found this page i will put down the link to the description uh i hope you can see that still recording okay that's from Windows 7, but uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the registry is still the same. So there are two things. So here you can see the option system unattended sleep timeout. That's the thing. So the sleep after is intended to set when you are working on the computer. Let's say you are working and then uh, somebody calls you and you leave the machine without doing anything and then it goes to sleep after this time but the system unattended sleep timeout should be according to microsoft should be when the system wakes up from itself and then it goes to sleep again after two minutes so okay so actually it's it's the wrong setting but anyway it's, we'll, we'll try this um there are two things here two downloads the one is to add this option and to the one is to remove i don't know why somebody want to remove that but it's here so what we do we download the thing and then we uh yeah we save it okay of course so we open we have it here and here we have the downloads and i'm looking for modify today yeah i've already downloaded it two times so here you can see that um yeah i can delete the one so uh that's interesting that when i click on that i left click on that and i can already see this so they say on the website i can double click hmm now it says it does something last time when i uh, when i did something when i double clicked nothing happened i had then to right click and choose merge now i try with double click actually it's uh, described as that it does it with a uh, double click unfortunately there are a lot of warnings and we have to trust them it's an unknown publisher uh, yeah sometimes you have to do that when you want to change something in a system so it says registry editor adding information can be uh, unintentionally change uh, can unintentionally change or delete values and cause components to stop working blah 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 yeah um, 
Oh, okay. W what does it say? Yeah, it's, it says when, when you do not trust, then do not do it. So I'm just doing it. The keys and values contained uh, have been successfully added to the registry. Okay. So when we go back to the website, it says actually nothing about to what we should do additionally. Um, I hope it will work. Maybe it will only work after reboot. So let's try this. Uh, yeah, oh, I have to move the windows down so you can see that. Uh, right click, power options. And then I go to choose what uh, when to turn off the display. And I go to advanced power settings. So this is here. And then I go to sleep, and here it is, system unattended sleep timeout, and it is two minutes. Isn't that crazy? It says two minutes on battery. Yeah, uh, I mean, I will definitely increase that. And this, I mean, yeah, I will increase that a lot let's say one hour i mean plucked uh, or at least half an hour or something like that i mean two minutes two minutes that's crazy i mean you can write into that that's easier so okay so we have uh 30 minutes and we apply that and we put or oh, set okay and that is it so of course uh the change has been done and I don't know if it really works. So I'll interrupt the video now for about two or three minutes and I will continue. You see the time, it's 9.47. So let's see in a couple of minutes if the computer is still running. So I'm back now. You can see it's 9.54, it's 7 uh, minutes since I left, I even left the room, it's, uh, yeah, 7 minutes without doing anything, and not touching the mouse, not doing anything, and it's still active, and that never was the case before, so it always after 2 or at 3 minutes at the latest, it went to sleep and this is not the case anymore so i can really recommend doing this so go to this website i'll put down the link in the description i'm not affiliated with them i don't uh, i but i have seen many uh, other forums uh, pointing to this website and suggesting to do that it seemed to be a little bit unsafe at the beginning but it turned out it was absolutely the right thing i don't know why microsoft does not deliver this solution on them own i have absolutely no clue but it is as it is it seems to help and so i hope i will have been able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time